Hey folks, today we are working on this uh, window out on the barn remodel. And so this is up in the little loft area for spraying cabinets. Got our little spraying booth here. Got my painter person down there. Great help, Esther. And get my light back on so I'm gonna be working up here while she works down there they cut this hole so well I've done this a couple times and the best way I found to put a uh, window in a metal building cut it from the inside that match you know that's the size of the hole and put my outside J trim metal install it and then slide the window into place so I'm going to put the camera on time lapse and you'll be able to see how things uh, come together. So stay tuned. Bye. Alrighty guys, so I got all my J trim cut and I put it in place to test it out. Now the J trim is the metal trim that goes on the outside. I call it J trim, probably called something else as well, but that's what I'm calling it today. So this you're gonna wanna clean this out. Um put a bead of caulk right in there, down in this corner, down in this corner, um, and put it, just put a thin bead of caulk right there, and then we're gonna stick this piece up, hopefully you can see me, Ooh. I don't know, I can just pull the camera and do it, put the can, put it up here, There we go. So, put it up there. That looks about right. Hopefully, I'm not making you seasick. Then, we'll do the next piece. And you don't need to caulk the bottom one. Bottom one's fine. You know, you don't have to caulk it before you put it put in it in. And we'll put a bead of cock here. All the way up. And then put a bead over here. Just get like a GoPro mount so I don't have to hold this thing. And then Oh man, I'm getting a mess. <laughs> It's all right. Cock doesn't have to look pretty. It just has to do the job. There. So everything's cocked. Then let's put this piece in here. See how it slides and I've notched it. I'll get a better picture view of it later when I go out and uh, screw the window in. But you have to notch these things so that they overlap. Maybe we'll save that for another video, another time. There's a whole method to the madness when you cut this trim. So now that we have this installed, and this is just temporarily stuck in there until we get the window in. So now we're gonna do another bead of caulk right here. here windows you could never use enough caulk on it's always better to over caulk than under caulk because window leaks are never fun to repair 
get this one. And then one final bead of cock crossed the whole it's a good workout holding the camera and then caulking with one hand it's quite the experience all right all right so now we got this caulked now we're gonna set the window in and I'm gonna shut the camera off for that part. Alrighty, alrighty, so I'm back now. And I got the window in. And so what I have to do, is I have to put these boards on either side of the window, on behind this insulation, and put one on all four corners. And then go from the outside and screw into the two by four. So right now this just window is just it's just sitting in this opening. It's not screwed in at all because I haven't gotten to that yet. So I'll have to get a ladder, go to the outside, screw it, and do all that. And I'll have per somebody up here holding these boards for me. That way I can get to it. But uh, so that's the plan. And uh, that is pretty much how you and cut a hole for one of these things. At least that's how I do it. I'm sure there's 10 different ways to do it. Uh, all get you to the same goal probably. And now we have a nice window up here. Because before it was more like a cave than it was. <laughs> than it was a nice lit room. So it's a loft. And it should, should be nice. Nice little bedroom. So there you go. See you later.